Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this session, we will take a look at the upcoming Grand Celestial Event that is the New Moon in Aries and the much-anticipated Solar Eclipse. Not to worry if you are watching this video after the event has taken place, the energies will still be effective. In general, New moons are a time to set intentions, plant seeds and lay foundations for the future. On this occasion, the merging of the sun and the moon will bring about deep transformative changes, the shedding of the old skin to step fully into the new. Many spiritualists believe that when we wake up on Tuesday the 9th of April, we will be stepping into a brand new world. As this new moon is in Aries, it is likely to bring a fresh boost of confidence and excitement during this time of change and goal setting. The sign of Aries is known for courage, strength and leadership, so you may find that you are done with daydreaming or talking about your desires and goals and you just want to get out and do it. This determination is much needed after the recent stagnancy and lack of energy that many of us have been feeling. You may want to have more fun, make bold choices or take more risks. Opportunities that you rejected before will now be taken with enthusiasm. Listen to your intuition and see what you are being guided to or urged to try out. This is a time to not only set goals and intentions, but to develop a strong sense of identity. Who are you? What do you want from life? Where do you see yourself in three to five years from now? Enter the solar eclipse. This event magnifies the energies of the new moon. Significant changes, sudden revelations, opportunities, and new pathways forming. As this is also happening during a Mercury retrograde, don't be surprised if the past tries to come knocking. It's up to you whether you choose to entertain it or not. During this time of personal transformation and healing, get to know who you truly are and what you would like to do and be. Write it down in a journal Set your goals, create a dream book or a dream board. As Aries is a fire sign, it's also a great idea to dress in more fiery colours, such as red and orange, and light some spiced scented candles. This is your time. Let's make it count. As Aries is associated with the self and I am, you will notice some faint subliminals in the background of I am affirmations, focusing on deep personal transformation and goals. So let's get into the present moment. There is power in the here and now not the past and not the future but now taking deep cleansing breaths in and out releasing tension in the body try to sink a little deeper with each exhale unclench your jaw releasing tension in the fingers and the toes a really good breathing technique is to breathe in through the nose for three seconds and then exhale slowly through the mouth for six seconds. Breathing in for one, two, three and out through the mouth for one, two, 
three, four, five, six. I'm just plucking and pulling away any negative energy now. If you can keep focusing on the breath, in for three and out slowly for six. And now I'm going to loosen any blocks and stagnancy using selenite. I've loosened those blocks and restrictions. I'm going to gently sweep it all away. Don't worry about where this negative energy is going. It will be transmuted into positive energy. We can't be holding on to any negative energy from the past for this time of deep transformational change and personal development. Sweeping it all away. Using aragonite to recenter and ground your energy, helping you to focus on yourself in the present moment. Aragonite is a great stone for stability and balance, and also seeing the truth. It promotes self confidence and releasing what no longer serves you.
Okay, so now we're going to take some essential oils, and in this case I have chosen Sweet Orange for re-energizing and rejuvenation. Mandarin is also a good choice. And we are going to add it to a spray bottle to prepare and energize the space. So now our space is nice and refreshed and re-energized. Cutting away those pesky cord connections and attachments. Some are thicker and more stubborn than others. Good job, focusing on the candle now, breathing deeply, thinking about those dreams and goals. burn some dried sage to cleanse the space. Indigenous tribes have used sage for thousands of years to eliminate negative energies and to protect against dark magic and evil spirits. Moving it all around you and the space. Feeling those darker, heavier energies lifting away, dissolving in the smoke, feeling much lighter now, don't forget to breathe. We are ready for our meditation. Keeping your feet firmly on the floor or lying down somewhere comfortable where you will not be disturbed. Taking a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
relaxing the shoulders and your back muscles, sinking a little deeper with each breath, breathing in and breathing out, release. Imagining a space in your heart chakra and from this space radiates a beautiful divine light. This light is your soul, your connection to source energy. Like a magnet, its energies spread out and very slowly pulls the sun into your heart space, feeling its heat burning away your doubts and fears, cleansing the space, bringing you motivation, enthusiasm, goals and determination. Take a deep breath in and out. And from the other side now, imagining magnetically drawing the moon into your heart space, slowly merging with the sun, bringing balance, wisdom, intuition and magic. They are one, locked together in a celestial embrace. And as the two merge into one, visualize your new reality, releasing the old reality and stepping into an entirely new frequency band. A fresh new plane of existence. This is the most powerful point of attraction. I'm going to leave you here for a moment in this space to visualize your new reality with the power of the sun and the moon.
ready, allow the sun and the moon to go their separate ways, flowing out and away from your heart chakra, giving thanks to the divine. It is done. And I will finish with a beautiful quote that I found online. Sometimes I think of the sun and moon as lovers who rarely meet, always chase, and almost always miss one another. But once in a while, they do catch up and they kiss, and the world stares in awe of their eclipse. We will bring this session to a close by giving thanks for this healing and meditation. Closing you down safely, chakra by chakra, protecting and grounding. Feel free to add your own here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you a happy solar eclipse. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.